Good morning, motor cars. The day is Monday, July 27th. This day in history, 1940, Bugs Bunny made his debut in the cartoon A Wild Hare. 1953, an armistice was signed ending the Korean War. 1974, the House Judiciary Committee voted to impeach Richard Nixon in his obstruction of justice in the Watergate case. Birthdays, we got Joe Huford. He is a Toyota parts person, so <laughs> happy birthday, Joe. Upcoming events. Out of, automotive News uh, gave us the Best Dealership to Work For Award, which I announced last work, week, and our deal will be September 18th from 5 to 7 o'clock, and your family will be invited. I'll uh, bring out more information later on about it, but just mark on your calendar September 18th, 5 to 7, and your family's invited. The Route 66 challenge is moving on, and uh, um, it's a little bit of a walk away, needless to say. We, you know, it's spread out quite a bit, but I still think it's a lot of fun, and I hope everybody puts the hard push in to make sure they finish as soon as they possibly can. Construction update. For the next couple of weeks, they will continue to paint and tile the new service area. When this is done, we will move the service write-up area to the new tunnel, and we move the waiting room temporarily into the Platinum Lounge. We will de then demo the old write-up area and lounge and redo them all. We hope to have the assembly line up and running by the end of September, and the project should be over by the end of October. And I know it's been a long journey, but it's coming to an end, and I think everybody can see the, that it is going to be a beautiful place. So thank you for your, your help and understanding. The crosswalk, they finally painted the two lines going across the street, and they've also marked the curb er or the sidewalk area uh, with two spots where the signs will go for crosswalk. So please use those white lines and walk between them. I mean, it's amazing. I've even noticed where cars are stopping for me. And so anyway, I'm glad to see that's coming to fruition, and uh, hopefully the signs go up pretty soon. But really, make sure, though, you double check still. Do don't rely just on the crosswalk lines. And always remember, it's four-lane street, and there's a back line. And so don't just let the first car stop and not pay attention to the, far, the outside lane. So just still always be careful, but I think it will be a lot better the way it is now. Our solar panels have been generating electricity for the past 25 days. We've generated 37,300 kilowatts, and that saved us about $5,000. Keeping 53, or 52,000 pounds of carbon from being released in the atmosphere and saved over 521 trees and offset the use of 22 barrels of oil. That's really doing great. We have been nominated in 2015 for Future Heights Best of the Heights Award in the category, categories of Best Cleveland Heights Business, Best Customer Service, Best Automotive Business, and Best Longstanding Business. Now to win this award, we have to get votes. And your managers are going to be going over with you in the next couple, couple days what you have to do or what we can do to help us get more votes. And so I'm asking everybody to please Send in an email, voting force in those four categories. You have to vote for a total of 11 for your vote to count. And so um, you have to vote for seven more. But in those categories, vote for us. And don't put Honda or Toe. Just put down motor cars because i like both the stores to win. It would be a nice honor to win those awards. So we'll be talking more about that. Like I said, we're going to need about 800 to 1,000 votes to win that. And we'll also we'll be asking some of our customers to help us too. So you can vote. Your wife can vote. Uh, your neighbors, anybody can, so please let's, let's try to support that. Honda's multi-model uh, airbag inflator recall training series. It's a series of eight webinars developed to explain the history and current situation of the airbag bag inflator recall, reinforce existing policies and procedures, and share best practices from dealers ach achieving strong recall completion rates. I would like to ask at all the Honda managers to make sure that training is a priority on this with your associates. The first course, a complete overview, establishes consistent understanding of all dealers for all dealership employees. It was launched on July 23rd, and you can still watch it. But this sets the foundation for the subsequent seven courses, which will roll out over the next couple of months, and will be tailored to specific rules within the dealership. The recall will cover will cover cars from 2002 to 2011. Many of these customers <clears throat> have never 
<coughs> excuse me, have never been in our dealership, so we have to make sure we put on the the, the show. And don't forget that we are in an experience. We are in the experience business. Give the best experience to every customer that comes in the store every time. And hopefully we can win a lot of these customers back to be our future customers in service to then in sales. All right, my hero of the day is all the people that help with the help host the GEO 15th annual meeting that was held here last week. We were expecting about 70 guests to attend it, and we had over 120, and all had rave reviews for the dealership, the personnel, and um, the solar panels, and it was a very, it was a big success. So, to all you that helped, <laughs> okay, let's have a great day, everybody. Thank you, and we'll talk to you next. Week.